Yav Jalal. Hello. All right. Thanks down Poetry Slam 101. <clears throat> Bang! Controversial statement to capture your attention in the first few seconds. They're killing us! And a pause break, just to make sure that you were listening. Whilst the impact of my first three lines disseminates, I intend to use this mic to penetrate your mind about why it is we rhyme, make you lose track of what is the day and what is the time. Now that the initial part has passed, I realize that my nervousness has not yet surmised from the nervous wait to get on stage, the awful way your heartbeat drops when they call your name. I stand here and hope that I can win your cheer, hoping that your clicks and stops I will hear. Yeah. Knowing though that to win your hearts, this flow won't suffice, yes, even Banks Down Poetry Slam has a price. To win a crowd, you need a flow that's, well, kind of smooth and kind of slow. With a narrative that kind of falters with lines about how you, you are but a man, or she, she is but a woman, or, well, you're all, you're all but a crowd. A crowd that's after a poet that knows how to make you want to click your fingers like the cricketing of cicadas after long winters and makes you want to stop like the beat of bongo drums, the footsteps of Serengeti elephants and backhand slaps by Middle Eastern moms. <laughs> Outrageous metaphors that make no sense, it doesn't matter. They have no consciousness of space and time with faltering rhymes that over-dramatize even the most basic of statements. Then, the question is, why is it that we flow as if we all learn to rhyme watching the same show? And it's not like my flow is any different, but I just want to know whether there's more than one way to flip it. And do the value of my words diminish if you are cheering to the rhythm of my words, but have not yet even considered what the meaning is behind the words I use? So I try and spit something to make you question why you are clicking to the verses I am sitting and it's spitting. And it's not like I don't like the poetry slam flow with metaphors that grow like azaleas, shiitake mushrooms, and misplaced pubic hairs. <laughs> metaphors that make you wonder what the hell was the connection there between these random images we provide to you. But what is even the value of rhythm and flow if I can try and win you over if I show the right emotion to connect to you? So maybe I should spit up something about love and... Her, about her love and her eyes, the way she makes me realize what a man is supposed to be, how in her iris I can see a house and a family, how she is my everything. Or maybe I should say, man, stop that. That chick is whack, all the good qualities she lacks, and did you catch a whiff of her breath, fellas? God damn, I could have sworn she just ate at El Jenner's. Maybe I, should, maybe I should spit about how, how I'm angry. I'm angry about the way they look at us, the way they speak to us, the hypocrisy that when a brown or a black person commits a crime, it's automatically because of their race or their culture or their religion, but a white person kills hundreds and is treated as a psychological issue? So what matters? Is it flow, rhythm, emotion? or attitude. Maybe I should be arrogant. <laughs> Maybe I should say it's stuck for the law, for my arrogant vocal cords, the kid that's within my soul, the illness of my heart and more, the flow that's so twisted sure, to make, to lower my nafs and mut my ina, back down to my nafs al awama, from there to my nafs al amara, because I know my flow is that much harder, and that these lyrics are that much smarter than the average MC and his father. It is so arrogant the way that I'm talented that I should be committed, that I should be made to visit the Al Ghazali Center, listen to Sheikh Timothy Winter, in order to purify this ego, that lyricism is as precious as Smeagol, that's got more influence than the Beatles, that draws more fiends than a needle, that's got more power than the people. 
I'm the fear of a brown planet or this poetry slam. I'm Nazim Hussain and Ahmed Rahman in one man. Your favorite MC can't even begin to understand, but soon you will see he will become the stand of this vocal arsonist, killer of these pragmatists, iller than ace patients. You're yet to even see the best of my spit. I'm spiritual, lyrical, physical. You're pitiful to try and test me, kid. Quicker than Twitter, a lyrical killer. My stands are so damn handsome. My verses will take you for ransom. Poetically, I'm Charles Manson. Man Manson, but wait. We can do it smooth, slow, Metaphoric, romantic, arrogant, you name it. But what does it matter without you? Because we do it for you, right? Because you determine our value, don't you? And so I guess I should write something that will win your hearts and your cheers because that determines the strength of my poem, doesn't it? Hmm, let me think. You know what? Stuff that! I'll just write something I like. Peace and much love to you.